I have to confess that I'm not a big fan of going off road. You have to go slow, it takes you hours to make a few kilometers. But that's the toll we have to pay to reach those amazing destinations where you can be by your own. This time I was going up and downhill trying to find a suitable spot to camp to then try to hunt a wild boar. I'm so happy to have this vehicle. It takes me almost everywhere. I would love to tell you that I hunt a beautiful white boar, that I made an amazing shot, and that I enjoyed that meat for days. I was eating potatoes, rice and eggs for some days, but I enjoyed beautiful sunsets. I had quiet nights and I cut a lot of wood. One day you will see it can be very very frustrating to hunt with a bow. Therefore I decide to digest my frustration in a beach. It's a little bit of sun and beer. It, it helps with the mood. But little did I knew that this beach I was heading to was special. Not because the huge dune or that forest right next to it, which reminds me a lot less land in France. This was traveler's paradise all sorts of vehicles. Any vehicles that you can imagine, you can find it here. This is the famous Mercedes Unimog. This one was in top condition and I wanted to talk to the owner to get some information about the specs, how much it consumes per 100 kilometers, but with my dog trying to love my leg and my little knowledge of German was complicated. So we just ended up talking about the weather. This was the first time I saw that many people living, not just camping, on their cars. And I wanted to film as many as possible to show you. In a way, it was like a neighborhood. With the difference that on a normal neighborhood, all the houses worth more or less the same. Here you have houses, houses on wheel, worth 10, sometimes 15 times more than others. Some setups were pretty simple, like this one. With its pros and cons, there's no perfect house. This one, for example, had a lot of space, but a lot of weight, 16 tons. It got stuck for four days. Not easy to find someone who can get you out of that problem. No doubt these houses are very different, but they have something in common. They all were enjoying the same beach, same forest, and the same sunsets. The first morning in Elea Beach, I realized that this was not a traveler's paradise. This was a kid paradise, a sort of Neverland, but in real. I was about to tell you, imagine a place where you can wake up Monday morning, instead of going to school, you just need to get together with your friends and start thinking what we are going to do today. Mm -hmm -hmm. We can run around the camp, 
Mm, maybe it's a little bit cold, we can do fire. Or even better, let's make a competition. Girls versus boys. Um, let's establish the rules. We will do houses, or houses or whatever you want to do. Girls do houses and we boys, we are going to do a castle. We will use the opportunity that it was raining the last few days and we will build it using mud, what well, mud or any kind of material. And the winner is going to be the team that builds something that lasts longer. So this is a house and a castle. Yeah. So the boys are doing a castle and you're doing a house. Yes. Uh -huh. Nice. <laughs> oh, get shown. <laughs> I think my son will love to play here with you. He will love to make a house too. Well, according to the rules, you should have been playing for the team boys. But I saw the attitude and uh, hmm, that's why I said you will be with the team girls. Three days later, the girls had built not a house, but a village. And the boys think they didn't even finish one wall of the castle. But the boys were lucky and three days later it was pizza day, so no one remember about the winner or losers. Homemade pizzas. Or motor homemade pizzas? Anyway, they looked delicious. And they were delicious. The key, according to Norbert, is to make the oven yourself. Hmm, something tells me that I won't taste pizzas like this in a long time. It's impressive the appetite of these kids. At some point I thought when they finish with the pizzas they will eat the trucks. But there were some leftovers. <laughs> and then it was quiet. Quiet again in Neverland. Probably because the bellies were full, or because they were in the forest. I don't know, but I'd rather enjoy this silence, because I know it doesn't last forever. And when the silence is broken in Neverland, especially in front of your tent, there's not much you can do if you want silence again. Because there's only one thing that can make them quiet, apart from food. Ich 
scheinen sich sehr wichtig zu nehmen. Wir haben... Wenn Sie nicht sofort machen, dass Sie hier verschwinden... I think I will take one of those. <laughs> I see it what you're doing. Is this is potato. Potato? Warum with? sagen Sie mir so schlimme yeah. Sachen und warum beleidigen Sie mich? And when the movie was over, something magical happened. Some kids went to sleep, and others continued having fun at the campfire. You like to have fun, 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 <laughs> and I want to show you a good time. Let me show you a good time. Lean on you, Lord, please don't let me down. Prove that you love me and buy the next round. So, Lord, won't you buy me a night on the town? Won't you buy me a color TV? Darling, four dollars is trying to find me. I wait for delivery each day until free. So, Lord, won't you buy me a color TV? Everybody, oh, Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? My friends all right for this. I must make a man. If you wake up early in Neverland, you can see people baking their own bread. And ta-da! The magic from the night before. We were asking for one Mercedes-Benz. Well, there are two. Or three. But don't be surprised, this is German Neverland. Are you curious to see how is the interior of these three houses on wheels? The owners were very kind and they allowed me to show you. They also said, it's very disorganized, we need to clean first. But houses inhabited only by children, they all look like this. If not, they are not real. If you look carefully in the picture, there is a whole family. One boy and three girls. Of course, this is Neverland. There is no parents here. And there is our boy. Let's see what he's playing at. What are you doing, by the way? Hi. 
preparing tracks. I like to make rubber tracks for my experimental things. But the dimension with the holes on it, right? But it looks like it fits very good. Yeah, and this is problem. for the robot you showed me the other day. Yes. And this is for a bigger one, for the for the bigger one and here. And this is this is now I have make a measure with the new holes just for testing and this fits really good. And from this line, this is which we see here, this is the same. And now I have the, the right dimension. Mm -hmm. And now I build. That one is what you did with the 3D printer. To example. Huh? To example. But you printed that with a 3D printer. This print. one, yes. Yeah. And now I have the right dimension, you see. I, I make new diameter for holes and everything. Mm -hmm. And new, now I do this, sh this shape on, on these dimensions. Impressive, that 3D printing. Thanks to that boy, I have a new pieces for my Aoni. All right, but let me show you the interior of this new house. Here lives three girls and two boys. What is that, Benjamin? What is under that? Yeah, und uh, exactly, genau. Nicht? Nicht? Okay. Don't miss that one of the girls trying to organize as much as possible. She cannot bear that I'm filming the disorganized house. I bet you don't find it disorganized, but look at this balloon. Later on, that balloon is going to be the protagonist. Let's visit the last house, where two boys are traveling alone. Two boys, like you and me, traveling alone in the summer. How long have you been in the road, Abby? Um. Actually, I have, um, I have a house in Germany, uh -huh. um, so now we are since October. Ah, okay, okay, so, so it's not like permanently... Not yet, but I hope it will be once. Yeah, well, <laughs> you have everything. Yes, if. Yeah. For me it's enough, I don't need more than <laughs> And that there is your stove, right? But that one is, that stove is uh, made of, uh, I mean, it works with fuel. Yes, with yeah. diesel. Yeah. That is one with diesel. Yes. Uh, so you don't have to cut wood every day? No, <laughs> and you don't uh, have to uh, put new wood in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> every hour. And that's your bed system, right? Yes. Cool. So there they are, trying to climb, I would say, Eight meters to rescue that balloon that they have lost. Not crying, not calling the firefighters, not calling the papas. Everybody comes now to give instructions to the brave ones that are actually climbing. I'm really curious because it looks it looks really difficult. He's almost there but he's in the wrong branch. I think I will I will go and help them. I was not fast enough and by when I changed my clothes they already got the balloon back and were playing in the forest. At this point I was already feeling the magic in me. If you can be sitting on the campfire on a rainy day with a friend 30 years younger than you, there's no doubt you are also a kid. <laughs> so from now on, boy, I think you cannot call me old man anymore, huh? By the way, can you identify this song? If you cannot, you might be becoming an adult. Ooh. Ja, 
schaffst du. Unter den Stein erblickst du Ameisen, die wieder gut gedeihen. Probier mal, zwei, drei, vier. Ist das ein Ernst? Oh, das ist eine herrliche Stimme. <lacht> 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 Denn mit Gemütlichkeit kann